Hey, you're pretty good fire here. Welcome back to more Earthbound. Last part, we took on the fifth year sanctuary location, which was a sewer. It's actually kind of gross not to think about it. So now we're going to leave the museum and. Interruption! Yay! We all love this guy. Picture taking this daily scene photographic genius, I don't care. Well, actually, I guess he is kind of a pretty cool guy. I mean, he just flies down from nowhere. I mean, you can. Yeah, he, he can fly, so I guess he's actually kind of cool. But it doesn't give him an excuse to take random pictures of little children. Anywho, in the last part, if you remember, we got this carrot key. And you know what likes carrots? Bunnies. And you know what we saw in... Dollum? You remember? You remember? Doll it, it's, it's a, something that has to do with bunnies? You, you got it? No? Well, too bad. <clears throat> but yeah, if you'll remember, um, we actually found those bunny statues in Dalam, or Dalam, or however you want to say that. It, the re I don't, I don't know. Dalam sounds better to me than Dalam or whatever. So let's go ahead and use it on these guys. See what happens. Messy's Karaki, how strange! Rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. Whoa. Okay, and this is the actually the sixth your sanctuary location. I believe it is called Pink Cloud, and basically it's filled with enemies that like to electrocute you. Besides this guy, he does other stuff that's not cool, like hurt you a lot. But then if you use a smash deck on him, he dies just like that. How convenient. Anywho, let's. Oh, cool! It wasn't a back attack. Okay, this is the Thunder Might. Um, this one actually does use Thunder a lot. And I swear, dang Ness, you are one cool dog with your little smash attacks, bro. Okay, I'm really wanting Jeff's IQ to go up so he can fix a broken bazooka, because that's sort of something that would be very beneficial to have. And anyway, um, real quick, if you'll notice, Pooh doesn't have anything equipped on him. And that's because Pooh is very picky with the equips he gets. And I don't want to fight that guy. Um, he only has four equips in the whole game, and one of them, I think, is down here. I know it's definitely in this dun- oh! Okay, like I was saying, I know it's definitely in this dungeon. Oh, come on. Um, but I don't remember if it's in this room and if these guys aren't gone. Oh, hey, cool. Third time to charm, I guess. Yeah, this is it, the Bracer of Kings. Um, yeah, like I was saying, Pooh has four different equip items. Each of them are something of kings. And, um, yeah, they're the only ones you can get in the game, and I will be getting all of them. The only th problem is that one of them is a pain in the butt to get. You will be sitting there for, like, like an hour minimum trying to get it, unless you're really lucky. Oh, hey, look. Okay, guys, and I'm back, and I just went ahead and fought everything in here for the experience. Snake, when used during battle, it bites the enemy and disappears. We also poison the enemy. Oh, I didn't know that. That could be useful. I haven't even... I've never even heard of that little item. Uh, I already fought three guys, or... I mean, four. Three. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'll just... Come on. Let's, let's do this. Let's see if it's a new enemy, and... Nope. Okay, and we're back. Let's go ahead and get this trash chest. Ooh, rock candy, nice. Basically, what that does is if you use it, there is a. Oh, wait. One enemy here we haven't fought yet. That is the little lips back there. Um, not much to say about it, just pure usual enemy, not much it does. Wait, I actually think it can kill you. Oh wait, no, yeah, the kiss of death kisses people and poisons them. That is so cool. Wow, that was an annoying fight. I'll just let you look at the results there and see why it was annoying. Anyway, I'm actually going to heal everybody right now. Oh yeah, huh. Who should probably be healed? 
And so should everybody, actually. You know, I'm just gonna cut this part out. Okay, and we're back. After killing everybody, and now we're at the boss. Woo! From the guy here, it's the six or sanctuary location, but it's mine. I take it from me if you dare. Don't know why I just had a problem saying the word sanctuary. Anywho, thunder and storm attack. Not sure what their weaknesses are. Um, go ahead and check. I'm just going to use PSI freeze because that seems like it could do something. It seems like it has the uh, the potential to uh, do it do some uh, do some uh, do some damage. Uh, yeah, that was right. So yeah, I'm guessing that they're weak to PSI freeze. Yeah, so if, uh, that's actually a pretty good boss strategy, it's just PS- Oh, I guess they're not weak to PSI freeze, but it still does less damage. That's a good boss strategy, though, it's just, um, uh, PSI freeze, because usually if you have two people using it, it will solidify them. So, you know, it'll be harder for them to attack. And I'm actually gonna see- Oh, man. That's bad. But no, no, never mind. I thought we were gonna. Okay, cool. It did something. Um, I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure when it says that they're like charging for the next attack, that means we're gonna use like some really strong thunder attack. So I would try not to die. I know that's probably the strategy you've been using the whole game, but especially here, this is where strategy comes in handy. And that was actually a really easy boss fight. Yay, level ups! I am severely, severely disappointed, Mr. Thunder and Storm. Nah, uh, come on. I want you to get IQ. Okay, that was a pretty nice level up for Pooh, though. Nah, Pooh, I'm never gonna stop saying that, am I? Alright, now we're at the top of Pink Cloud! I don't know why the clouds are pink here, but whatever. This is a short vision of seeing his mother when he, she was young. This is sensor for the melody of the pink cloud. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to that whole thing now. Take it from the top. So, if you notice, we have 6 out of 8, so you'd think that we're about 3 fourths, but... Eh, we don't get another Sanctuary location for quite some time, actually, but... We're definitely making a lot of progress here. And, can I teleport out here? Because it's technically not inside a dungeon. No, I don't want to... <sighs> Come on. Okay, actually, I'm going to, um, explain the, uh, rock candy that we just got. Um, basically... When you level up, like if you use it and then you level up, um, an extra stat will be raised, like one extra point. There's actually a trick you can do to um, get some like crazy level ups. Um, if you get a bunch of condiments, like how I have that jar of delicious sauce on poo, then if I move the um, rock candy so it's the last item in their inventory, then if you use the rock candy in battle, um, only the condiment will be used, so you'll still have the rock candy. So if you f fill like your entire inventory with um, like condiments, then just like go into some easy battle and use the condiments over and over and over again, or use the rock candy over and over and over again, you can get like some insane level ups. So I mean, if you want to do that, then go ahead. I'm not going to because that thing is sort of cheap. And actually, now I guess we're gonna teleport to Summers because we probably need to head to Scarabinos for those, those fancy little pyramids that everyone is talking about. So remember that one sailor that said that he was worried because his wife wasn't doing anything and she was a lazy bum and we're gonna have to fight this taxi? Alright, and we're back. Anyways, I was saying, remember that one dude we had to talk to and then his wife was all like, No way, I'm not gonna get a job. And he was like, Come on, wife, get a job. And she was like, Oh my gosh! Okay, his wife wasn't all like, oh my gosh. She was all like, okay. 
And then she got a job, now we're gonna go talk to him because he might be up to sale now. Let's go check it out. Yeah, sailor talk. <sighs> no, actually, I don't... Okay, Mr. Cameraman, hurry up. I hate you. We've already had two of you in one episode. That is plenty of pictures. There's plenty of memories. No. Stop it. No fussy pickles. We gotta go. We gotta hurry. Okay, so actually, um, we're gonna do that in the next part when we have enough time to. If you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, next part, like I said, we're gonna be sailing to Scaraba because the sailor can take us down. And I will see you then. Goodbye.